Hey everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to Panzer Corps, where we're playing the Allied campaign from this 2011 classic World War II game. This is the fourth episode in this battle, which is First Alamein. And so far, we've held on to our objectives and pushed back the German assault. There's five turns left. We're going to play all five turns, so it's going to be a longer episode. The question is, can we hold our objectives over these last five turns, or have the Axis got a surprise and going to have us scrambling to try to hold on to this victory? I hope you'll stick around. It should be an interesting episode. So here we are back in action. It's turn 12 out of 17. We're going to try to finish this one up as I mentioned in the intro. Let's take a quick look at the battle so far and just kind of refresh ourselves with the current situation. So our objectives are, as I zoom in on the map here, up in the northeast corner of the battle here, which I'm seeing this little town that's empty right now, is the town of El Alamein. That's one of our four objectives. Now we have to hold that one to get victory. But if we want a decisive victory, we have to hold this flag in the desert, this position here, this other circular this other rectangular flag down here in the hills and then this last rectangular flag that sits out way in the western southwest corner of the desert as we can see now these axis forces which are to our the west side of the battle are pushing hard on this we've been counterattacked by four armored units and an infantry unit we have a ragtag team of defenders out there trying to hold on to this edge onto this victory objective then in the middle which concerns me a little bit we've got a gap we've only got the 14th heavy weapons infantry holding this bridge with this anti-aircraft gun and leaving us wide open for some kind of a counterattack. Hopefully, nothing comes through that gap. Up north, where a lot of German forces were massed, we've pushed well beyond El Alamein and are pushing up towards the city here of Tel al Aisa. Hopefully we can take this city that would get us some more uh, prestige in the battle. Our forces are doing pretty well, but up here we do have Zach's fourth recon, which has been put under heavy pressure, suffered 80% losses. We're going to try to see if we can save them as well. So let's dig in and get started, and let's take care of some things that we know we want to do. Now Zach's recon is one of these units you can switch. So we're going to switch it to recon, then we're going to get it the heck out of here so that we can save it and rejuvenate it with some reinforcements next turn. So let's pull Zack back. Whoops. I'm a little bit rusty because I haven't played for a while. Let's pull Zack back to the town of Elamain and we'll give him ammunition and reinforcements on the next turn. That makes sense. Now, I think we're just going to try to whittle down and do as much damage as we can up in here. And because this city here really isn't important, I'm thinking we want to shift our air force down here and try to do as much damage as we possibly can on this attack because this victory point this victory position um, objective if we lose this we'll lose our decisive victory and so far in 11 battles we've had 11 decisive victories so i kind of want to keep that streak going i don't know how much longer we'll be able to keep it going because the scenarios get harder but we want to try to keep it going but let's see what we can do up here now i think what we want to do let's push Jock's 6th Infantry forward up here. We'll push them into this little gap. Then we're going to push our artillery forward here. We're going to have the artillery fire on this uh, armored car unit. Minus 2. Excellent. And it reduces them to red. And that should give Jock's 6th Infantry a better chance of finishing them off. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we get lucky. Ah, oh, minus 3. They don't get the kill. They do push them farther off into the desert, though. Ah, disappointing. Ah, okay, let's move our, our other artillery, the 15th artillery up here, and let's start pounding that city. It's going to reduce their entrenchment down to 7 and turn them yellow. The question is whether we want to risk Goose's 9th Recon in an attack. It says 6 to 1, but their entrenchment is 7 in my ear. So when I'm trying to figure out what to do, Goose, if you haven't seen his channel, you should go check out his channel for this game. He's a master at the game, and he's been posting tips in the comments from pretty much early on as we've done this series. And as I'm trying to make decisions, I listen in my ear. I say, what would Goose do? Now, I think Goose is telling me, don't attack, because they could have a rugged defense and we'd get killed. But I believe in Goose's recon here, and I think they can push them out. Let's see what happens. Rugged defense. God, minus two? Minus two. Well, okay. That's not too bad. We'll take that. Now they lose their entrenchment. Minus four to one. Their entrenchment's down to six. Dare we try it again? We have this armored unit. Mm, gosh. Don't want to attack in the city here. Let's send, uh, this is Parkera's first armor, who's up here. Let's send them up and see if they can do some damage on this artillery. Minus three, Parkera. 
God, everybody's rusty, I think, after the month off. We have this, nice vids, 13th Commandos. They could go in for the kill, or we could push them forward a little bit. Let's leave them where they are. Let's send JJ's second armor. Gosh, I'd love to finish that armored unit off there. Let's push them forward here and hit this guy. I feel like we're just attritioning their whole front, which isn't necessarily the, the best way to pull this off here. Four to one, but they're entrenched with a six. I feel like we're going to lose a lot. You know what we're going to do instead? Let's give them reinforcements. Elite reinforcements are only 22 different. We've got the the prestige for it. We're going to give them elite. Oh, only one. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well. So then they're going to... That, yeah, that wasn't the brightest move either. Okay. Anyway, not a heck of a lot of progress up there. No kills. We only weakened this artillery by three. We didn't kill that one off. We had a lot of troops. I think we've just been rusty after that month off. Okay, anyway, we're going to push this anti-air one forward because we're just kind of sacrificing them in as a screen. Not sure what we're going to do here with the 14th heaven, 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 um, Heavy Weapons Infantry because we may shift them down here, but I hate to leave even a bigger gap in the middle. Let's see what kind of damage we can do down here. Now, this is a little bit of a puzzle, right? We've got artillery that's out of ammo, or at least red. I don't want to move our tanks, our armor, too far away from the middle in case they have to recover. I don't want to attack this. Hmm. Well, okay, let's have our Custard's Ninth Air just hit real quick on this. Minus three. Good. That's a good start. And then let's have them fly back here so they can get resupplied with ammunition and fuel and be back in the battle next. Now, we have a fighter and two tactical bombers we can bring down here. Let's see what we can do. I definitely want to kill something. Let's... What would happen if... Let me zoom out here. If we brought... The 19th tactical right down here. What does this look like? Minus six. Okay, we're going to do that. So we're going to move them forward. Let's attack. Minus eight. Outstanding. Oh, that's good. Because I think what we could then do... I don't want to abandon this position here either. Could we move them? Oh, we could. We can move them up. And this is the 8th engineer. They should be able to finish off this artillery unit here, which would be nice. So let's do that. But let's leave them there for a second. Let's get some more troops up here on the side. We want to have our infantry slide down into the position in the hills to defend it. Let's move our armor over here. That'll put a little bit more pressure on them. Two to one still. Then we're going to move Greeno's third paratroopers down here into this position. And now we can move our artillery up and do something cool with this. And... We still have this armor left to figure out what to do with. We could resupply them, flaky 7th armor. But let's figure out where our artillery should pound. We could maybe wipe this unit out, which would be a waste. Let's have them instead hit this infantry in the open, perhaps? I don't know. Let's wait a second. Let's have the 8th engineer try to finish off this one. Oh, the artillery there defends it. Minus one for us. Finish him off. Oh, minus one. Good lord, what is wrong with our forces? Ah, I should have fired on this artillery first. That was dumb. Oh, well, I forgot. Let's try to take him out now. Minus two. Okay. And let's have the 17th armor. Three to zero. Boy, that's not much. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me. We have another tactical bomber up here that we can bring down. And let's have that. Oh, they might be able to wipe out this 51st Panzer. That would be awesome. Let's try that. Can we get eight? Minus eight. Nice. The 11th tactical gets our first kill since we've been back. Very good. Now let's have, ooh, two to five. We're not going to do that with Greenos paratroopers. They're just going to sit there and defend. Then we have over here, we have our fighter, which is our 10th air. And they are out of range of that artillery. Damn it. Uh, oh, they can go minus three on this martyr unit, though. Let's try that. Minus three. Excellent. Good. That puts some... That's We kind of put a dent in this. We, You know, we only knocked out one unit. But, yeah, we've done okay here. Now, we have, oh, we have two armor left, though, right? So we can slide in. Flaky's seventh armor can wipe this unit out, which is eight casualties. That, But... 
This one can also go three. You can hit the infantry two to zero. Let's start whittling this infantry down. Oh, this is defending it too. I keep forgetting the order here. Minus one. No damage though. We got lucky there. Now let's have Flaky's armor come down here. Get next to this one to prevent it from resupplying well. See if we can finish this off. No damage to Flaky. Minus eight. Another kill. Oh yes. We've taken out a good sizable portion of this uh, attack here with only one armor weak left and two infantry and an armor. Yeah, we're looking pretty good down here now, I think. That was a good turn. Now, what else do we have left? Looking at some units that can move and attack. Four to three, we don't want that. No sense in taking those casualties. They've all moved and attacked. They've moved and attacked. I think everything has moved and attacked. So with that in mind, let's end our turn here. And some units have not moved yet. Yeah, that's okay. We're going to end our turn and we're going to go to turn 13. Let's not... Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Minus six. What? What the heck? Where did, did the... Did you see that? Minus three. There's a unit behind us. Right here. God. Flaky's getting crushed. It has no ammunition. Ah, this game. Minus two. Jock's engineers fighting back. Puts a heavy hit on. They're down to five. Oh, God. Here comes more stuff. Minus two. Uh-oh. We're getting pounded here. Turn 13. Good Lord. So where did this unit come from? The heck? There's panzers in here. They just swarmed over our airfield. They didn't take it, though. They're heading right for El Alamein. God. We need to give elite re reinforcements to Jacques Recon. Well, I'm going to think for a second. Then we're going to figure out what to do. These are strong tanks, too. Gosh, flaky 7th armor. He's got absolutely down 60% casualties. What is this? The 4th SE Panzer 4s. Oh, my God. Okay. So we're going to have to get them out of there to hold and see if we can rescue them. We've got to figure out what's over here in the desert, too. Because we can't see anything. There's got to be more stuff coming. Where did they come from? Good lord. Okay, we got to scramble here. we got to finish this off. Leave some kind of a defense. I'll think for a second anyway. I'll pause. I'll be right back. All righty. Let's think here. <laughs> and even better news, there's a sandstorm predicted for this turn and for next turn. So our air force is useless. Well, not completely useless, but it can't do any damage. So... So what I think we want to do, I, I suspect there's more than just this armored unit. So let's take Custard's 9th Air and we're just going to fly it down here. Maybe here? See if we see anything. Stop there. Click here. Can't see anything. God, can't even spot. We don't know what's going on. We're blind. Damn it. Well, it can't attack here. So let's get them back so they can at least refuel. So we'll fly over here to refuel. Likewise, with our tactical bombers, since they can't do anything, we might as well fly back to this base and try to refuel. It's the best we can do. Same with this one right here. Okay, so they'll all refuel. That's the best we can do there. Let's not panic. We got to get Flaky's armor out of here, and I don't want him to run into more German forces down here. So we're going to send them back here. We've got to pull them out. And get them resupplied on the next turn. They have no armor. We don't want to lose them. Now, here, we're still somewhat overwhelmed here. We could wipe this artillery out. Then we're going to get hit by that armor, which was just nasty. But, could we have our infantry attack it? That wouldn't work. Two against four. If we attack their armor, it's three to one. I think we almost have to. But I want to wipe this artillery unit out, too. Okay, we're going to wipe. Here, I know what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to push forward with the 17th armor here. We're going to hold on their attack. We're going to take our artillery unit. I should have left them there. Wait, I can still undo that, right? Nope, I can't. Can I wait? Wait, I mean, can I undo that? Nope, I can't. I should have just defended with the artillery in there. Oh, well, now we learned. We're going to move them forward. One. And then we're going to have them resupply. We can't. Why can't we resupply? Oh, because I moved them. Let's unmove them. Resupply. Fuel and ammo plus two. Yeah, let's do that. God, I'm screwing this up, I feel like. 
Okay. We have Greenhouse Paratroopers down here. We're going to move the 8th Engineer forward one. Right here. And try to hit... Oh, no sense doing that either. You know, I think we're just going to kind of leave them where they are. Maybe just move the infantry forward one. Right there. We don't want to attack there. Artillery, armor, they picked up. Do we need this infantry down here to move down? I don't know. Okay, we're going to see if we can wipe this out. Let's get lucky. Come on, 17th armor. Minus 7. Minus 4. We suck. Ugh. For outstanding service, George Adams from the 17th armor was distinguished as a hero of the war. Plus 1. Okay, well, it's not a very good hero either. We can reinforce... With elite replacements, let's give Greeno's paratroopers some support here as they defend this strong point. I think we're going to need help down there, too. But over here, okay, I think what we can do is we can have elite replacements plus eight. They're going to cost 140 true prestige, but I think we need to do it. They are there and in place. Good. Then we can shift, switch Goose's recon to this and pull them down into El Alamein to fight in there. They've only got one round of ammo, but they'll have to hold against this Panzer unit. Then, let's move four to two. We can bring this artillery and tuck it in behind him. Let's do that. Okay, that'll work. Let's... <clears throat> so we gotta get more armor down here, too. We could pull... Okay, let's pull JJ's second armor, who's got four ammo left. Let's have them head straight back, because we're gonna need that. Let's pull Jock's 6th Infantry into the mountains here, or we resupply them. Let's hold our line. Let's resupply. Elite replacements plus 2, reinforcements. Good. Let's do the same. We can't with them. Why not? I don't know why. Oh, because there's two enemy, enemy units next to them. Let's give them... Supply them with fuel and ammo. Good. So they can defend there. Let's get Parkera back down here. This is, a, And we're just going to have them hold, not attack into the city. I think that would be bad. Then they can pull back if we need to on the next turn. I feel like we have to get help down here. There's going to be more coming. And we need to beat this armor back. I think everyone's done what they can do in this situation. I hate to leave the 140th here, but I hate to leave a big hole in our formation too. Let's pull them back one just to get them close. Oh, what the heck? The Germans have this one too. Damn it. Okay, so we know, although we can't see what's there, the Germans have gotten behind our forces and they've taken this objective in the middle of the desert. God damn it. Ah, how? Where did they come from? How did we not see them? This game is so sneaky. I'm, we could lose the whole thing. It looks like at least the decisive victory could be tough anyway. How the heck did they get around us there? Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Turn 14. We're going to have to probably repurpose JJ's second armor to try to hit that, but we don't know what's in there yet. Hopefully this sandstorm breaks. Let's... We could pull this infantry back. I'm kind of liking that idea. I mean, they'll probably come down and retake that space. Let's have them hold one more turn. Okay. Let's end our turn. I think everybody's moved. We've done what they can do. Ah, they can do one more. Let... And we can't switch them. I, I like them in the town, I think. don't know if I want them in front or... But they're behind the artillery. Yeah, so that's good. Okay. So, everything... We've done everything we can right now. Let's end our turn. Some units have not moved yet, we know. Oof. That artillery is here. Minus two on our anti-aircraft. Here comes more troops. Nice! Jacques infantry holds off this armored unit. Oh god, there's more stuff coming! Our engineers hold off. Drive through this armor. It hit. Oh, they hit our infantry minus four. Uh oh. Our eighth engineer is in trouble here. That one tank unit? Is that it? They're almost out of gas. Uh oh. There's a whole force coming through the middle here. Good lord! Oh, we lost our first unit! Our eighth engineers have been wiped out! What the heck? My god, it's everything. Come on, Greenos paratroopers holding this strong point. You gotta hang on, guys. God, we gotta get that artillery that... They've surrounded us. They've attacked our artillery. Good lord, they're killing us. What the heck? Minus one on Parkera's armor. 
It's like the entire German army's coming through here. Where did they come from? Okay, the weather cleared. Thank God. Okay, and they're almost out of armor. And, uh, they're almost out of uh, gasoline. Okay, let's just think through this. Let's not panic. We've got four turns to hold. We don't need this town. We can hit and kind of run back. We can do some stuff here now. Okay, we got armor here to hit this. We've got some options. And we've got our air force back. The stand sandstorm broke. We have to hold up here somehow. Get this unit out somehow. Ah, oh, good lord. We have to hold that off. We need to get Flaky back up involved. We have to save our artillery. I'm going to think for a second. Then we'll be right back. Damn it. They've got two of our objectives, too. Gosh. Ah. I, how did they get behind us? Okay, anyway, deal with it, right? I'm going to think. We'll be back. All righty. I have... Uh, I don't have a plan, but we have some things that we need to be able to do. I, I think somehow we have to try to re to pull back and to regroup and retake these two objectives that we've lost from the troops coming up from the south. Wipe out these two armored units and then try to swing down here with whatever time we've got left and maybe save Greeno's paratroopers and the 17th armor, which are going to get overwhelmed, although we can give them a lot of air support. I just... I think things look pretty grim down here. We've already lost the 8th Engineers, the first casualty of the war for us in a unit. But let's do a few things here that we know we have to do, and let's get some more information. First of all, we can resupply Flaky's armor with elite reemplacements. They'll bring them up to 10 and give them ammo. So they will be back next turn, which is excellent. They've got three rounds of ammo, which will have them finish the battle, not counting defensive attacks. So that's good. Let's see if we can move our 18th Anti-Air out of the way here maybe get them back and that way will give us a sight on what's going on with this objective hopefully there's nothing else in here and we don't get ambushed excellent good so it looks like we've got these four troops pouring down here we've got these two armored units in here and we've got nothing stopping them really okay this is great Wonderful. So, let's... I want to see if we can do some damage on this armor. And we have the fighter units which look like they can do some damage. So, let's start hitting them here. This will give us two. This is the 10th air. Let's see if we can start chipping away at them. Minus two. Good. And this is JJ's second armor. Four to one. That would put a dent on them. Let's send... Our other custard's ninth air and see if they can hit this other stook to start wearing them down or do we want to hit this stuff here oh that's anti-air oh that's anti-air right there that's dangerous okay let's have them hit here minus two minus two good excellent perfect so that puts some damage on them now we have this attack here which is give us four to one or four to nothing on this stook let's see if we can wipe out these panzers or at least put a big dent on these panzers Anything else we can bring to bear on this? I'm not sure. Let's think about that for a second. We'll come back. Over here, I'm thinking we need to try to pull back our 17th armor and hit this infantry just to try to save it. So we're going to pull. The question is, what do we do with this artillery? And is there anything at this point here? We're going to take the risk. We're going to, I don't think they're going to hold that spot. So we're going to bring our 14th Heavy Weapons Infantry into these hills in this strong point. Pray that there is nothing in there. Actually, we can attack first, 3 to 1. Yeah, let's do that. No damage. Minus 3. Good. Now, hopefully they don't get ambushed here. Oh, God. Ambush. Minus 7. Ah. This is not our day. This might be our first redo. <laughs> okay. I should have just moved next to it, shouldn't I? They're going to get wiped out on the next turn. Uh, okay. We've got Parkera's armor here. Let's have them hit this unit and then pull back. Minus five. 
minus, they get one damage. We're getting damaged all the time now, too. Let's pull them here. Start trying to draw some kind of a defensive line here. We can move, we can have the JJ second armor hit this and then pull over here. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, they're gonna hit this for sure. Some damage, minus one. What is with our attacks? Do we wanna leave them there? We're gonna have to. Okay, so we're gonna have them pull here to try to cover this hole a little bit. Ugh, okay. Then let's bring up four to one. We, oof, we don't really want to do that, do we? Okay, we got to get, we can get this artillery to fire. How many rounds do they have left? Three. Let's have Goose's Recon. They need ammo anyway. Let's boost them up and give them some ammunition. That takes care of that. Let's switch Zach's, Jack, Zach's Recon, Zach's Recon to Infantry and pull them up one here. Actually, let's just leave them where they are because hopefully they'll, we'll be able to get this. Actually, no, no, no. Let, can they, if they pull up an attack, one to one, that's not good. I'd like to force them to come into attack and kind of get this artillery defending it, but I'm worried they might slip around it too because there's space to get in between there. Oh, but they'd have to get stuck here, wouldn't they? They could go that way. I don't know if they can see that though. Let's take the risk. Let's hold that and hope they're going to be okay. Now, okay, we got to get this infantry. Oh, we can bring them back here and start forming a line here. They're going to push down, aren't they? Good Lord, what a mess. Okay, we're going to pull them back to... here. Pull our other artillery back. Oh, we can't leave that right here, maybe. They're going to attack it, aren't they, if they find it? We'll take that risk. We'll go there. They've moved... We got to get Jock's sixth infantry out of here. How do we do that? They're in trouble. Go there. Attack a two to one. Nope, we're gonna try to keep them as many points as they can because they're gonna get hit by a lot of stuff coming down. All right, we're running out of options. We just have this battle to try to do some damage on now. We've got our best tactical bombers here. Could we save this unit by having dropping one of them on that? Doesn't seem to be. Ah, okay, we're gonna lose that unit, I think. We're gonna try to save this town though. Four to nothing, three to nothing. Let's bring them here. See if we can hit this. Minus six. Oh, that's helpful. That's a big hit. Now let's get the 11th tactical to try to hit this one. Minus seven, let's get lucky. Minus eight, okay, that's a little bit more luck. We'll take that. Let's switch to the ground here. And let's see what we've got. Okay, we're gonna move our... We could go there and finish them off. That might be tasty. Now let's pull back, because otherwise they're gonna cripple that. Let's see if we can hit that infantry. Minus one. Ugh! Just not... Greeno could do, maybe they can finish off this. Minus one, zero, let's try it. Let's see if they get lucky. Come on, get lucky, come on, Greeno. No damage, darn it. Okay, hold on, boys. Now we can resupply them. That'll work, actually. Plus three, that'll get them to eight. Let's do it. I think they're gonna be okay. They're gonna hit by two. Maybe we can hold. I think Greeno's going to get pushed out, though. Although they're at four. What are they at? Oh, they got hit pretty hard. They're at four. Maybe we can hold. I don't know. I, I think we're going to lose the 14th Heavy Weapons Infantry, though. Gosh, what a mess this is. And it's taken a lot of time. We might actually need two battles to do this. I think we're going to play one more turn and then see where we go here. I thought this was going to be a mop-up. Let us end our turn.
Some units have not moved yet. Yes, we know that's Greenhouse Paratroopers. Artillery fires on Jacques infantry, dropping them down to five. Artillery fires on the heavy weapons infantry and wipes them out. Jacques infantry minus one. Hang on, boys. They're pushed into the anti-aircraft unit. Oh, minus one. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. Good. The armor hits them. Minus three. They take out two. Okay. They're out of ammo. What's going on? Minus one. Greenos paratroopers holds and holds the armor with minus two damage. They pull off. Okay, we got up north. We got the anti-air. Takes two out of our aircraft. Here, ambushed them. Nice. Minus three. Minus two. Goodness gracious, they're coming hard. For outstanding service, Brown, Brian, uh, Brian Wood from Nice Vids, 13th Commando, was distinguished. Attack plus one. We'll take it. Excellent. More trucks coming down. Armored cars. It's like all of Germany's coming at us. What the heck? My goodness gracious. They've abandoned that. Okay. Minus one, they hold off. They're just throwing everything at us. Hitting artillery, no damage, good. Comes more infantry. Firing at our armor, more stuff coming in. Gah! I don't think we can hold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think actually, otherwise it's gonna be like an hour long episode. I did not see this coming. I think we're gonna have to hold off here. Those were long turns, so let's stop there. We'll come back for our next episode. My gosh, we've lost our first two units. Right now we hold El Alamein, but we've lost this objective. We've lost this second objective. This one is all but surrounded, although we have beaten them. We have done some pretty significant damage on this. And Flaky's back in action here, too, which, which definitely helps. And uh, our 17th armor is out of ammunition. Great. And we can give them one ammo as the situation stands right now, unless we flatten this unit out. Greeno's down to their last round of bullets, and we can't resupply them. Could hit that infantry. Gah! This anti-aircraft unit is almost wiped out. Our aircraft, 10th there is taking casualties. We got, oh my goodness. Where did that armor go? There was one more armored unit. Where did it go? We lost it. I can't see, oh there it is. It's underneath our aircraft. Let me know what you think we should do. I did not see this coming. I thought like from one place they might push forward. But how did that armor get behind us? That's the downfall that we had. I mean, they got three units. They must have come all the way around or something. Were they just sitting there and they activated? Ah, some hard lessons here. Anyway, we'll be back in our next episode. To f we will finish it next time. There's three turns left. I think that would be good. Let me know what you think we should do. Kind of panicking. We've lost two units. This might be a redo. I'm not sure, but we have three. By the way, just to kind of we have uh, three mulligans. So if we don't like the results in three battles, we can redo it. But then after that, if we don't like that, we would we would uh, lose the campaign and the whole series would end. So let me know what you think here. It's not done yet, I guess. Maybe we can still pull this. At least we gave. At least maybe we can pull out hold out of the main and hold that. That would give us a victory. I'm just, it's, it's kind of a Pyrrhic victory now with all these losses. Anyway, I'm babbling. We'll see you in our next episode. I'm going to try to do them on Fridays. Now I'm reducing my YouTube production a little bit. So we'll be back in a week to finish up first Alamein. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Have a great weekend, everybody. Take care.